writing and then you have to find a beat that you like that you want to represent. First of all, you have to have the topic that you want to talk about, uh, the message that you want to bring forth so everybody can hear and know um, what you want to say and what you want to tell the world. That's cool, I can definitely understand what you know about that. So, how long, how long have you been in the music industry? I've been doing this thing for seven years. Woo! Seven years. Seven years. Oh, seven years. Seven years. Oh, I'm not even seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Yeah, just a little bit. So, how long? You're 16? 16. You're still so you've been doing this pretty much since I was nine, man. Yeah. So, that, that's cool. So, this is something you're very passionate about, something you definitely understand. But can you tell us why not just, you know, regular hip hop? Why, why did you choose to go the gospel, the gospel route? I chose to go the gospel route and the positive route because, um, you know, I feel that the teens and the youth need an alternative to this hip hop music. This hip hop music is uh, not necessarily what they need right now um, at this time. And I feel that, you know, they need a more positive impact, a more, um, Positive route, you know, it means more positive message, something exactly. a little bit better, something more positive and uplifting. I feel uplifted since I've been here, I gotta be honest with you about that. So, Thank you. that's pretty cool. Um, speaking of messages, yes. what was your message? What was your goal? What was you trying to get out to the people? What did you want them to learn about you from this album? Oh, about this album, okay. Um, the message was seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else will be out under you. Meaning, when you put God first in your life, everything else comes. When you put God first in your life, the money comes, the cars come, the house comes, the jewels, whatever, the swag, it comes once you put God first. Right now, um, our teens got our priorities mixed up. Um, a lot of our teens were, you know, in the rap game, we're putting money first, we're putting you know, clothes first, putting women first, putting, you know, drugs, all of that stuff first. And we're not really putting who the one created this first. You know, once you put your priorities in check, then everything else follows. Yes. And I, I'll take that, I'll take that home, that message with me as well, if I leave here. So, on this album, on this project, do you have favorite songs from the album? Do you have songs that mean the most to you? Do you have a song that touches you in a different way than some of the other ones might? You know, what, what, what um, My favorite, the song that touches me the most is uh, Favor Ain't Fair. Because that, that song, it means a lot to me, uh, especially when I was writing it. Um, I was, I was really zoned into God. Um, when I was writing that, and you know, I wanted ministry on the album, not just you know, crunk songs and not just uh, songs that just get you hype and whatever. I wanted something that that, that that you feel. So my most passionate song would have to be "Favorite Fair." Uh, my favorite song, I'm gonna have to go with "Nothing to Me." Now I'm, I'm putting this down in my mental roller deck. Yeah. You gave me a copy of the album. Yep. As soon as I leave, I'm gonna go pop it in, and I'm, I'm going to check out these tracks that you mentioned. Yep. And I'm going to try to see what you're talking about, what you're telling me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That should be exciting. What would you say was your, your greatest challenge? What was the hardest thing for you um, that that stems from music? My greatest challenge with music would have to be writing. Because um, I want God to take my pen or my pencil um, and write, you know. Um, anything I do when it comes to my ministry, I don't want to put any flesh into it. Mm. Meaning I don't want any of my emotions, um, you know, anything when I'm feeling, none of that stuff into what I'm doing in the ministry. I want it to be all spiritual, all Jesus, everything. Mm. Yeah. That's, that, that's probably tough. That's probably hard to do. I know you very probably have teenager, you know, deal with all kinds of different things and issues. You got to try to block that out. Yep. You keep focused now. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. If you can do that, that my hat's off to you. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> but before we get out of here, before we wrap this up, um, I'm big on inspiration. I think a lot of other people out here are as well. Everybody's looking to be inspired by somebody. What are your words of inspiration for the people out here listening today? And for me too, because I'm listening as well. Just in case okay. Honestly, um, if your priorities ain't right right now, you need to check them, you know. Um, the, our days are limited here. 
you know. God, G-O-D, is expected to come back anytime. And if your life isn't right, and if your life isn't straight, then there's some pretty bad things that's gonna happen, you know? <laughs> so my word of encouragement is to, you know, get your life right, get your priorities and straight. Never too late. And it's, it's never too late. Never too late. Never too late. That's all right. So, appreciate your time. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> appreciate you having me and allowing me to share this. This has been very interesting to me and very cool and an eye-opening experience. And I'm glad that I've been here to be a part of it. May y'all make some noise.